Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and uh, today we have one here from Corgi in 148 scale, of course. It is a Fokker DVII, or a D7, and this particular one is from Rudolf Berthold, and he uh, was a World War I German air ace, of course, uh, with 44 aerial victories, 16 of those one-handed. In 1916, Berthold would suffer a broken nose and jaw, as well as a broken leg and damage to his optic nerves in a near-fatal crash. He would be prescribed narcotics to aid in his chronic pain thereafter. Um, it would be months before he could fly again, but in uh, June of 1917, would see him again with a bullet through the shin and the use of narcotics now a <laughs> common knowledge amongst his uh, fellow pilots by late august though he was flying once again until october a bullet would shatter his right humerus uh, <laughs> forcing him to land one-handed of course his arm near useless he would actually be found unconscious and hospitalized uh, the arm was saved from amputation but did remain paralyzed as it healed and of course uh, the drugs began to be used a little bit more and more to cope with that constant pain uh, but his morphine addiction uh, didn't really handicap him and on his 44th aerial victory after shooting down an Airco DH-9 bomber his controls actually came loose from his grip he could only use one hand at this stage and he lost control of his plane and actually crashed into a nearby house and he was uh, plucked from the rubble uh, his arm once again was actually broken and of course uh, it was the same arm that was uh, injured previously and he actually would not fly again uh, because World War One would actually end while he was recovering. So having survived World War One, he actually would be killed in 1920 in Hamburg after refusing to disarm in accordance with the Treaty of Versailles after an altercation with armed civilians. I won't go into that story. If you want to learn about that, uh, you'll have to I'll look that up. But what we want to do is actually get this box open and have a look at this absolutely beautiful looking aircraft. We'll go off and do that right now, of course. All right, with Rudolph's blister pack out of the box, we'll be able to get our hands on his aircraft, of course, and get this blister pack open. Uh, sometimes these Corgi biplanes are stuck really hard in these packets, so hopefully it'll be a, a, a nice one. Oh, okay, yep, beautiful. Comes out beautifully. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, yeah, this does look very nice. We'll obviously move this packet out of the way. It does have the usual stand, of course, as you can see there. And we'll have a little look at Rudolph's aircraft. It is painted in this beautiful blue. It's not overly heavy. Um, this was predominantly his uh, sort of uh, stylization of his aircraft to have the, uh, the blue aircraft with the uh, red nose. And he has his sword of vengeance on the side there. That was his little heraldry that he had on the side of the aircraft. There is, of course, a little Rudolph sitting in there uh, back in happier days, of course. Yeah. To survive uh, World War One, and only to be killed back at home is a bit of an unfortunate uh, experience, especially the way he did get killed. There is some beautiful uh, wood detail, or some wood grain detail on the propeller blades there. It does look fantastic. And no wire bracing, actually, so it's all uh, thicker struts along here. So I'll run down the side along here, of course. That is very nice. Yep, very nice indeed. It's got some great detail. The uh, wheels do, do spin quite freely, of course. Oh, there's a little bit of bracing down in there. <laughs> very thin. It's got some... Machine guns beautifully placed there. It does look nice. We'll turn Rudolph's aircraft over and have a look underneath, of course. That is very straightforward. And of course, the beauty of these World War I aircraft, you don't really have to do anything. They are uh, pulled straight out of the box and are ready to go to display on your shelf or if you want to, you know, whack that stand. It's quite basic and then chuck it in the stand hole, of course. And that is a uh, job done to display on the stand and... I reckon this does look very nice. Another beautiful World War One aircraft. Excellent. We will put it on the deck, of course. And we'll wind this little video up. 
So, of course, this is by Corgi in 148 scale. It is the Fokker DVII or D7, and it is one flown by Rudolf Berthold, who was a 44 victory air ace uh, for the German Air Force, of course, during World War I. And I think this is another fantastic model by Corgi, of course. And I reckon it comes up beautifully. And this big blue is really nice. All right, I will do the usual. I will take some photos of this, of course. And you can check it out without my uh, sausage fingers all over it. And uh, you can check it out in the turntable. And I will uh, wind this video up by saying thank you very much for spending your valuable time, of course, watching one of our videos. I really do appreciate it. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Thank you.